We've got a pretty exciting video here today. Uh, I've got a bottle of Foursquare Isonomy in front of me. As you can see, it's unopened, which is, uh, you know, quite exciting in itself. Um, so this is our Barbados rum. It is the 20th release in the exceptional cask selection range. Um, and this rum shows a lot of patience. It has been aged for 17 years, 17 in ex-bourbon casks. It is a blend of both pot and column still. Um, and yeah, I guess we're just gonna jump straight in. Um, I'm really excited to open this. Um, so the, the names of all of these have always been quite fascinating to me. We've had some pretty interesting ones in the past and I've uh, been doing my uh, research into them. Um, but isonomy means um, equality under the law. So it feels like quite a fitting little, uh, kind of maybe not a little name, it feels like quite a fitting name, uh, you know, given, given the world we live in. Um, it's quite a big statement. It's, um, you know, it's a big deal. It's, it's, uh, uh, the bottles are iconic. The label, we've got the purple text, we've got the kind of, I love the, the tactile label on this. Um, I feel like I've probably gone on and on about the bottle for quite a while. Um, so just gonna have a nice little satisfying pop of that. And um, instantly the nose is incredible. Um, wow, all right, I'm gonna get this into a glass. We're gonna take a look. And um, yeah, I, I picked this up as a birthday treat for myself a few months ago and I've kind of had it sat here for a while, like waiting for like a special occasion or the right time to open it. And it's been a really good week, um, you know, lots to lots to celebrate in the um, in the that rum drinker world, in my personal life, in my professional life, all those kind of things. So it just felt like a really good time to open this. And um, I just wanted to treat myself, you know, really. Um, so it felt like a really good time to open this. Uh, like I said, it's been sat here for a while. Uh, you know, a couple of months. Not really a long time in comparison to the 17 years aging, but um, we're gonna jump straight in. Uh, like the nose is it's just so incredible. Like even from this distance and talking like, um, but yeah, I'm gonna crack straight on. I'm gonna give this a quick, uh, quick kind of nose and, and see what we're getting. So on the nose, this is complex. It's a it's a big bold rum, you know. It's I'm I'm getting definitely woody notes. You know, it's been 17 years aged in in barrels, so it's going to be a bit woody. It's going to have those oaky notes. But I, there's there's this dried fruit, maybe slightly tropicalness to it. And um, there's definitely like some sweetness, maybe vanilla, something like that on on there as well. Um, so there's, there's already quite a well-balanced, you know, quite a, like a varied kind of nice palette um, kind of expectation. Um, definitely expecting to get more of those kind of dried fruit notes. Um, I'd be surprised if this isn't, again, quite woody um, in, in its palette, um, in its body. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna jump straight in and taste this and just see where we're getting. Um, so yeah, cheers. Those woody notes are definitely present. Um, it's a very, very complex rum. It's very full bodied. It's, there's a lot of layers to it. Um, I can tell you now, there's a really, really long finish. Um, I don't think I said before, this is a 58% ABV. Um, so, you know, that extra, um, that extra ABV is really gonna help carry those big flavors through. That's incredible. So it's, the, the palette is really nice. It's got a really long finish. It's still kind of, still developing. I'm getting quite a, like a, a toffee buttery finish. Um, definitely some like dried fruits, maybe like those, those dates, that kind of thing. Um, interestingly, whilst I am getting wood, it's not, overpowering, which, you know, I'm glad. Um, I, 
I think I'm going to go the, the three big flavours kind of really jumping straight out at me are dark chocolate, walnuts, and and like a toffee, not caramel, I think caramel a little sweeter, so I'm going to say toffee. Um, so like toffee, walnuts, dark chocolate, um, and and then developing into that kind of buttery, smooth um, kind of dates. That That's fantastic. It's such a strong, like, we've waited 17 years. That is sat, maturing, developing, becoming this huge, huge thing. And I mean, it took me a while to get my hands on the bottle. It was a real challenge. Like it sells out very, very fast. And I was, you know, I picked this up for about a hundred pounds. And, you know, I've, I've seen them going for a lot more now uh, since, but you know, this was definitely kind of a rum I wanted to open. It was a rum for me. I'm not like gonna leave it on a shelf for too long. I, I, I wanted this one. So um, I, I guess to summarize, it's exactly what I want. Foursquare, they are worth the hype, in my opinion. Um, I love a Barbados rum. Um, I don't know what else to say, to be honest. It is just really, really enjoyable. If we're talking scores, you know, uh, rum X app style, out of 100, I can't not put this at 91. 91, like, but I think, yeah, it's excellent. So um, I'm not gonna give anything 100 because I don't think anything is, you know, that. I, I think 100 is something to really, really kind of, it has to impress me for a long time for me to say this is the best rum ever. I'm gonna go 91 for now. I think it has the potential to be a 96, 97, because that's fantastic. Value for money, you know, maybe that's what makes it a 91 and not a 96. If this was 40 pounds and I was drinking that and I'm getting this experience, that would be that'd be 110 out of 100, like, you know. Um, 91 feels fair. I think I'll come back and revisit this another time and see where it sits again. Um, but that, that is a beautiful, look at the long legs on that as well. That is a beautiful, beautiful treat. And um, yeah, 91 out of 100, Foursquare Isonomy. Um, cheers.